Hey guys, today is Wednesday, 7.26 p.m. 2020, August 5th. Let's take a look at the market today. Uh, the market has closed. Uh, right now, S&P 500 is filling this gap right now. You can see that we are halfway filling this gap. So I think that's going to get filled. The market is going to continue to go up. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything, any other updates. NASDAQ is also at uh, you know all-time high today. As usual, uh, this market just continually going, uh, going, keep going, keep going. So, um, not really much of update. Uh, okay, so that's it for the. I mean, there's not much to say. I don't see any bear signs. I don't see any super bullish signs. I mean, all time high is pretty bullish. So uh, this thing could continue going on. For a while, and I don't even know when when the next correction is gonna be. It's hard to tell. And uh, yeah, uh, let me see what else. Uh, cryptocurrency market, cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin also up, right? Ethereum up. Everything's up. Everything's up. Everything is up. There is nothing that's down on my. I mean, in my portfolio, it's nothing. Everything's up. Okay, there's one thing that's down. You can see uh, Slack is still down. Um, I think the reason is, I think there's there might be a problem with this this particular holding. Uh, if it's down in such a strong market, it just shows that this is a weak stock. Um, I think there's a lot is a lot of concerns. There's a lot of concerns about um, you know Slack. Because Microsoft is bundling Microsoft Team with Microsoft Office, the entire thing is bundled, and the price is just so sweet compared to what Slack's offering. And I, I honestly look at the pricing, and I don't really see, um, like I can imagine any other company would buy Slack uh, compared to Microsoft Teams, unless it's a software company. Right. Software companies, they're probably going to go with Slack. But other than that, if you're in finance, you have to have uh, Microsoft Office. Uh, you you have to go with Microsoft Teams. It doesn't, doesn't make any financial sense to go with Slack. And that's the problem with bundling. And if Slack's able to win the lawsuit, which they recently filed against Microsoft, uh, this stock could, could rally really, really hard. But that lawsuit can go on for, for a long time. So I am concerned about this, this particular company. And if the, I don't know, if this thing goes even higher, I might just sell my holdings. We'll see. Okay, uh, that's all I want to talk about. And uh, see you next time.